If you're in Panama and you don't do at least one of the things on my list today, what are you even doing in Panama? But seriously, here are the top 15 experiences you absolutely have to do during your time in this incredible country. 15. Panama Canal Transit you can't go to Panama without checking out the Panama Canal. It's one of the most famous engineering feats in the world, and seeing it in action is pretty mind-blowing. You can take a partial or full transit tour that lets you see the locks in operation and learn how this incredible canal works. The tours usually come with guides who share interesting facts about the canal's history and construction. 14. Explore Casco Viejo. Casco Viejo is the historic district of Panama City and is absolutely charming. Walking through its cobblestone streets, you'll find beautifully restored colonial buildings, vibrant street art, and lively plazas. Make sure to visit the Panama Canal Museum and the stunning Iglesia de San Jose with its golden altar. 13. Snorkeling and diving in Bocas del Toro. This group of islands on the Caribbean coast are some of the best snorkeling and diving spots in Panama. The clear, warm waters are home to colorful coral reefs, tropical fish, and other marine life. Popular spots include Coral Cay, Hospital Point, and the Zapatilla Islands. You can take guided tours or rent equipment and explore on your own. Oh, and go to Starfish Beach, where you can see hundreds of starfish in the shallow waters. 12. Hiking in Boquet. The cooler climate and lush landscapes of Boquet make it perfect for outdoor activities. One of the top hikes is the Quetzal Trail, where you might spot the elusive, resplendent Quetzal bird. Another popular hike is to the summit of Volcan Baru, the highest point in Panama. On a clear day, you can see both the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea from the top. Boquet is also known for its coffee plantations, so be sure to take a coffee tour while you're there. 11. Surfing at Santa Catalina. This small town on the Pacific coast has waves for surfers of all levels, from beginners to experts. The most famous surf break is La Punta, which offers consistent waves year-round. If you're new to surfing, there are several surf schools where you can take lessons. Santa Catalina is also the gateway to Coiba National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its amazing diving and snorkeling. 10. Wildlife Watching in Soberania National Park Soberania National Park is a great place to experience Panama's incredible biodiversity. Located just 30 minutes from Panama City, the park is home to hundreds of bird species, including the Harpy Eagle, Panama's national bird. You can also spot monkeys, sloths, and other wildlife. 9. Exploring San Blas Islands. This is a group of over 300 islands and caves, most of which are uninhabited. These islands are home to the Gunayala people, who have preserved their traditional way of life. Visiting the San Blas Islands is like stepping into a postcard with white, sandy beaches, turquoise waters, and swaying palm trees. You can take a boat tour to explore the islands, swim and snorkel in the clear waters, and learn about the Guna culture. 8. Canopy Tours in El Valle de Anton This town is in the crater of an extinct volcano. It's known for its beautiful scenery and outdoor activities. One of the most exciting things to do in El Valle is a canopy tour. You'll zip line through the treetops, enjoying breathtaking views of the rainforest and the valley below. El Valle is also home to the El Nispero Zoo and Botanical Garden, where you can see native animals and plants. 7. Visiting the Embera Villages The Embera people are one of Panama's indigenous groups, and visiting their villages is a fascinating cultural experience. The villages are located along the Chagres River, and you can reach them by boat. The Embera welcome visitors with traditional music and dance performances. You'll have the chance to learn about their way of life, see their beautiful handicrafts, and even get a temporary tattoo made from natural dyes. 6. Sailing the Panama Canal While transiting the Panama Canal on a large ship is impressive, sailing through it on a smaller boat will give you a different perspective. There are several tour operators that offer sailing trips through the canal. These trips give you a closer look at the canal's engineering marvels and the lush landscapes along its banks. You'll also have the chance to see wildlife, such as birds and monkeys, up close. 5. 
relaxing in the Pearl Islands. These islands are known for their beautiful beaches, clear waters, and abundant marine life. Contadora Island is one of the most popular, with several resorts and a variety of activities, including snorkeling, fishing, and whale watching. The islands are also a great place to just kick back on the beach and enjoy the stunning scenery. 4. Caving in Bayano the Bayano Caves, located in eastern Panama, are a series of limestone caves filled with underground rivers, waterfalls, and fascinating rock formations. Exploring these caves involves wading through water, climbing over rocks, and even swimming in some areas. The experience is both challenging and exciting. Make sure to go with a guide, as the caves can be tricky to navigate. Cohiba National Park, located off the Pacific coast, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the best diving spots in Panama. The park's waters are home to a diverse array of marine life, including sharks, rays, turtles, and colorful fish. The underwater landscapes are just as stunning, with coral reefs, rocky outcrops, and underwater caves. There are several dive operators that offer trips to Coiba, and whether you're a seasoned diver or a beginner, you'll find plenty to explore. 1. Climbing Ancon Hill Ancon Hill is a natural reserve located in Panama City, offering some of the best views of the city and the Panama Canal. The hike to the top is relatively easy and takes about an hour. Along the way, you'll pass through lush tropical forest and might spot wildlife like sloths, toucans, and monkeys. Once you reach the summit, you'll be rewarded with panoramic views of the city, the canal, and the surrounding areas. It's a great way to see Panama City from a different perspective. Now that you know about these amazing experiences, here are some practical tips to help you make the most of your trip to Panama. Tip 1. The best time to visit Panama is during the dry season, from December to April. The weather is sunny and pleasant, perfect for outdoor activities. The rainy season from May to November can still be a good time to visit, especially if you don't mind occasional showers. Tip 2. Panama has a good network of buses and domestic flights that make it easy to travel between cities and regions. For more flexibility, you might want to rent a car, especially if you're planning to explore the highlands or remote areas. TP3. Panama is generally safe for tourists, but like anywhere, it's important to take basic precautions. Keep your belongings secure, avoid walking alone at night in unfamiliar areas, and be cautious in crowded places. Tip 4. The currency in Panama is the Balboa, which is equivalent to the U.S. dollar. In fact, U.S. dollars are used interchangeably with Balboas, so there's no need to exchange your money if you're coming from the States. Tip 5. Panamanians are friendly and welcoming. It's important to respect local customs and traditions, dress modestly when visiting religious sites, and always ask for permission before taking photos of people. I hope you found this video helpful or interesting. If you have, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.